I remember when we got these wolves, there were real wolves, and I don't know, here's, you ever think of like salesmen who like, you know. It turned out that Dances with Wolves was like my third film. And there was a certain buzz about the whole thing because it was Kevin Costner. Step into the mystic world of Dances with Wolves, an iconic film that captivated audiences and reshaped cinematic history. The film's cultural impact was profound, shedding light on indigenous cultures and their plight. However, behind the scenes, director Kevin Costner faced numerous struggles and tensions simmered among the cast. Join us in this exclusive video as we unravel the hidden mysteries behind the making of Dances with Wolves. Some stories will shock you. Let's dive in. Origins of the Story Michael Blake's journey with Dances with Wolves began as a speculative script that struggled to find a buyer in Hollywood's competitive landscape. However, fate had a different story in mind, ultimately evolving this tale into a best-selling book and an Oscar-winning movie. At the heart of this transformation was Blake's unwavering determination and the pivotal role played by actor-director Kevin Costner. Michael Blake initially wrote Dances with Wolves as a screenplay, but even though it had an incredibly gripping narrative, it simply failed to attract the attention of studios. Then, during this period, Costner encouraged Blake to consider adapting it into a novel. Costner recognized the immense potential that the story had, and rightly so, because his suggestion proved to be a turning point. In 1988, Blake's hard work finally resulted in the publication of the novel, which garnered critical acclaim and captured the imaginations of readers worldwide. The success of the novel paved the way for its cinematic adaptation, with Costner taking on the roles of both director and star. His dedication to realizing Blake's vision was evident throughout the film's production, from meticulous casting decisions to extensive location scouting. Against the backdrop of the American Civil War, Dances with Wolves unfolds the story of Union Lieutenant John Dunbar, portrayed by Costner himself, as he assimilates into the Lakota Sioux tribe, assuming the name Dances with Wolves. What makes Blake's creative process special is his introspective and personal approach to storytelling. He closely identified with the protagonist, Lieutenant Dunbar, using the narrative to explore his own spiritual journey and longing for a sense of community. This personal connection made sure the story was filled with authenticity and depth, causing a profound impact on everyone who watched it. But that wasn't all that went into making this celebrated film. Here's what you may have never realized about Dances with Wolves. Adapting Blake's novel into a screenplay presented its own set of challenges, and it was necessary to strike the right balance between preserving the essence of the novel and creating an original and engaging film script. To ensure authenticity in his portrayal of Native American culture, Blake did plenty of background research, immersing himself in first-person accounts and historical texts. His exploration, including works such as Mary Sandoz's biography of Crazy Horse, helped fill in the small historical and cultural details in the narrative, adding depth and authenticity to the story. Production Challenges One of the most daunting tasks facing the production team was the location scouting and set design required to recreate the rugged beauty of the American frontier. Spanning vast stretches of untamed wilderness, the frontier presented a logistical nightmare for filmmakers, requiring them to find suitable locations that captured the spirit of the era. But what specific challenges did they face in locating the perfect backdrop for the film's narrative, and how did they overcome them? The search for the ideal filming locations took the production team on a journey across the United States, from the sweeping plains of South Dakota to the majestic peaks of Wyoming. Each potential location presented its own unique set of challenges, from accessibility issues to environmental concerns. Yet despite these obstacles, the filmmakers remained determined to find the perfect setting for Dances with Wolves. In the end, it was the remote landscapes of South Dakota that captured the imagination of director Kevin Costner and his team. 
With its sweeping vistas, rugged terrain, and dramatic natural beauty, the Black Hills region provided the perfect backdrop for the film's narrative. But transforming these pristine wilderness areas into the untamed frontier of the 19th century would require a Herculean effort on the part of the production crew. To recreate the look and feel of the American frontier, the production team spared no expense in constructing elaborate sets and meticulously recreating historical details. From the sprawling Fort Sedgwick to the bustling Sioux Village, every aspect of the film's setting was carefully crafted to immerse viewers in the world of Dances with Wolves, one of the biggest challenges in setting up the frontier was the sheer scale of the undertaking. With limited resources and tight deadlines, the production crew had to work tirelessly to transform barren landscapes into bustling frontier towns. This involved everything from building period accurate buildings and structures to sourcing authentic props and costumes. Despite the logistical challenges, the filmmaker's attention to detail paid off, resulting in a visually stunning depiction of the American frontier that captivated audiences around the world. The Buffalo Hunt, a pivotal sequence. In the vast and rugged landscape of the American frontier, depicted in Dances with Wolves, there exists a pivotal sequence that not only captivates audiences with its breathtaking realism, but also serves as a defining moment within the narrative. This sequence, known as the Buffalo Hunt, stands as a testament to the technical prowess and artistic vision of director Kevin Costner and his team, while also symbolizing the themes of survival, connection to nature, and cultural identity that permeate throughout the film. But what exactly makes the Buffalo Hunt scene so remarkable? And why is it considered one of the most memorable moments in cinematic history? First and foremost, the technical execution of the Buffalo Hunt sequence is nothing short of extraordinary. Filmed on location in the expansive wilderness of South Dakota, the scene unfolds with a sense of raw energy and authenticity that is unparalleled in its realism. But how did the filmmakers achieve such a level of authenticity, and what were some of the challenges they faced in bringing this iconic sequence to life? Utilizing a combination of practical effects, skilled animal trainers, and expert cinematography, Costner and his team meticulously recreated the atmosphere of a traditional Native American buffalo hunt, complete with thundering hooves, swirling dust clouds, and the visceral thrill of the chase. But what sets this scene apart from other action sequences in cinema is its commitment to realism and attention to detail, which imbue the hunt with a sense of urgency and danger that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. Yet, beyond its remarkable technical execution, the buffalo hunt scene carries deep thematic significance within the storyline of Dances with Wolves. Essentially, the hunt symbolizes the profound connection between the Sioux tribe and the natural world, highlighting their dependence on the buffalo for food, clothing, and spiritual meaning. As Lt. John J. Dunbar, played by Kevin Costner, joins the Sioux on their hunt, he not only witnesses the skill and bravery of his newfound companions, but also gains a deeper understanding of their way of life and the sincere bond they share with the land. In this sense, the buffalo hunt serves as a metaphor for Dunbar's own journey of self-discovery and cultural awakening, as he learns to embrace the values and traditions of the Sioux people and find his place within their community. Furthermore, the buffalo hunt scene stands as a masterclass in visual storytelling, with its stunning cinematography and evocative imagery, conveying the majesty and power of the natural world in all its glory. From the sweeping vistas of the Great Plains to the thunderous stampede of the buffalo herd, every frame of the hunt is infused with a sense of wonder and awe that transports viewers to another time and place. But what is it about the cinematography and editing of the scene that elevates it to such cinematic heights? And how do these technical elements enhance the overall impact and emotional resonance of the sequence? 
Through the use of wide-angle shots, dynamic camera movement, and expertly timed cuts, the filmmakers are able to immerse audiences in the heart-pounding excitement and adrenaline-fueled intensity of the hunt, while also capturing the beauty and grandeur of the natural landscape. So, from its breathtaking realism to its profound thematic significance, the hunt serves as a microcosm of the film's larger themes of survival, cultural identity, and the timeless connection between humanity and the natural world. As audiences are swept up in the excitement and drama of the chase, they are also invited to reflect on the beauty and fragility of the world around them and the profound impact that our actions can have on the delicate balance of life on Earth. The Music Score, Enhancing Emotional Depth From the moment the opening credits roll, John Barry's evocative score sets the tone for Dances with Wolves, transporting viewers to a world of vast open spaces, untamed wilderness, and timeless beauty. Through a combination of sweeping orchestral arrangements, haunting melodies, and subtle nuances, Barry weaves a sonic tapestry that mirrors the grandeur and majesty of the American West. One of the defining characteristics of John Barry's score for Dances with Wolves is its ability to evoke a sense of nostalgia and longing for a bygone era. Through the use of traditional folk instruments such as flutes, drums, and strings, Barry creates a musical landscape that feels both timeless and deeply rooted in the cultural heritage of the American frontier. Throughout the film, Barry's music serves as a narrative thread that weaves together the disparate elements of Lieutenant Dunbar's journey, from his initial isolation in the wilderness to his eventual integration into the Lakota Sioux tribe. With each crescendo and diminuendo, the score mirrors Dunbar's emotional highs and lows, echoing the ebb and flow of his internal struggles and external conflicts. But what is it about Barry's ability to evoke such depth of emotion through his music that resonates so deeply with viewers? Throughout Dances with Wolves, John Barry's score provides a narrative thread, adding emphasis to the film's key scenes and guiding the viewers through the highs and lows of Lieutenant John J. Dunbar's journey. Whether it's the moments of quiet introspection or the blockbuster action scenes, his music score ensures that audiences are always on the edges of their seats. One of the most memorable aspects of John Barry's score for Dances with Wolves is its ability to capture the spiritual and mystical elements of Dunbar's encounters with the Lakota Sioux tribe. Through ethereal vocalizations, tribal chants, and hypnotic rhythms, Barry creates a sonic landscape that mirrors the protagonist's journey into the heart of Native American culture historical context, and setting. The American Civil War, which raged from 1861 to 1865, stands as one of the most defining moments in the nation's history. At its core, the war was a struggle over the very soul of the United States, pitting the industrialized North against the agrarian South in a battle over issues of states' rights, slavery, and the preservation of the Union. Against this backdrop of political and ideological conflict, countless lives were lost, families torn apart, and communities ravaged by the brutality of war. It is within this turbulent historical context that Dances with Wolves unfolds, offering a lens through which to explore the impact of war on individual lives and communities. Lieutenant Dunbar, portrayed by Kevin Costner, finds himself thrust into the midst of this conflict, serving as a Union soldier stationed on the Western frontier. His journey begins against the backdrop of the Civil War's final days, as he grapples with the harsh realities of battle and the profound sense of loss that accompanies it. But beyond the battlefield, the film also delves into the broader societal transformations brought about by the Civil War, particularly in relation to the American frontier. Prior to the war, the frontier represented the edge of civilization, a vast and untamed expanse of land inhabited by Native American tribes, fur trappers, and pioneers seeking a new beginning. Yet the conflict between North and South and the expansion of the Union Army into Western territories 
brought about significant changes to this landscape. As the Union Army pushed westward, bringing with it the forces of industrialization and manifest destiny, the traditional way of life of Native American tribes came under threat. This clash of cultures, characterized by violence, displacement, and cultural assimilation, lies at the heart of Dances with Wolves. But how does the film portray this collision between two worlds, and what insights does it offer into the complex dynamics of power and privilege on the American frontier? Through its meticulous attention to detail and authentic portrayal of Native American culture, Dances with Wolves offers a nuanced exploration of the impact of westward expansion on indigenous communities. The film depicts the Lakota Sioux tribe not as savages or stereotypes, but as complex and multifaceted individuals with their own traditions, customs, and way of life. This humanizing portrayal challenges conventional narratives of the American frontier and invites viewers to reconsider their perceptions of Native American peoples. At the same time, Dances with Wolves does not shy away from depicting the harsh realities of life on the frontier, where violence, prejudice, and exploitation are rampant. Lieutenant Dunbar's encounters with both the Sioux tribe and white settlers offer a stark contrast between two worlds, each grappling with its own set of challenges and contradictions. Against this backdrop of societal upheaval and cultural collision, Dunbar's journey becomes a poignant exploration of identity, belonging, and the search for meaning in a world torn apart by war and conquest. Kevin Costner, dual role as director and star. In the annals of filmmaking, few endeavors are as ambitious as assuming dual roles as both director and star of a major motion picture, yet, this was precisely the challenge that Academy Award-winning actor Kevin Costner undertook with Dances with Wolves. But what drove Costner to take on such a daunting task? And how did he navigate the complexities of directing for the first time while also delivering a commanding performance as the film's lead character? From the outset, Costner's decision to helm Dances with Wolves was met with skepticism and doubt from industry insiders. After all, Directing a film of such scope and scale requires a level of experience and expertise that few first-time directors possess. But for Costner, the opportunity to bring Michael Blake's beloved novel to the screen was a deeply personal one. Driven by a passion for storytelling and a desire to explore themes of identity, culture, and redemption, the challenges of directing Dances with Wolves were myriad and formidable. Not only did Costner have to contend with the logistical complexities of filming on location in remote wilderness areas, but he also had to oversee a large ensemble cast and crew while simultaneously bringing his vision for the film to life. The pressures of wearing multiple hats as both director and star were immense, requiring him to juggle a myriad of responsibilities and make countless creative decisions on the fly. Yet, despite these daunting obstacles, Costner approached the task with characteristic determination and resolve. One of the key challenges that Costner faced in directing Dances with Wolves was the need to balance his duties behind the camera with his responsibilities in front of it. As the film's lead actor, Costner had to inhabit the complex character of Lieutenant John J. Dunbar, while also overseeing the intricate details of the production. This dual role required him to seamlessly transition between the creative demands of acting and the technical requirements of directing, often with little time for rest or reflection. One of the ways in which he dealt with this challenge was by surrounding himself with a talented and experienced team of collaborators. From cinematographer Dean Semler to production designer Jeffrey Beecroft to editor Neil Travis, Costner assembled a roster of top-tier talent to help bring his vision for Dances with Wolves to fruition. By delegating certain tasks and responsibilities to his trusted collaborators, Costner was able to focus more fully on his performance as an actor while still maintaining creative oversight of the film as a director.
The Wolf, Symbolism and Relationship with Dunbar. In the vast expanse of the American frontier depicted in Dances with Wolves, one of the most compelling and symbolic characters is not human at all, but rather a lone wolf named Two Socks. From the moment Two Socks first appears on screen, it is clear that this majestic creature holds a special significance within the narrative of Dances with Wolves. As Dunbar ventures deeper into the untamed wilderness of the frontier, he encounters Two Socks on multiple occasions, each encounter deepening the bond between man and beast. But what draws Dunbar to this wild and elusive creature? And what role does Two Socks play in his journey of self-discovery and cultural awakening? One of the key themes explored in Dances with Wolves is the idea of humanity's interconnectedness with nature and the natural world. Throughout the film, Dunbar's encounters with Two Socks serve as a potent reminder of this connection, as he learns to communicate with the wolf through gestures, body language, and mutual respect. In Two Socks, Dunbar finds a kindred spirit, a fellow wanderer in the wilderness, unbound by the constraints of civilization and society. At its core, the relationship between Dunbar and Two Socks is one of mutual respect and admiration. Despite their differences in species and upbringing, the two share a profound bond forged through shared experiences and a shared love of the wilderness. As Dunbar spends more time with Two Socks, he begins to see himself reflected in the wolf, a solitary figure navigating the rugged terrain of the frontier in search of meaning and purpose. One of the most poignant moments in Dances with Wolves comes when Dunbar realizes that Two Socks is the last of his kind, a poignant reminder of the harsh realities of life on the frontier and the fragile balance between man and nature. As Dunbar grapples with this revelation, he is forced to confront his own role in the destruction of the natural world and the displacement of indigenous peoples. Yet, even in the face of this sobering truth, Dunbar's bond with Two Socks remains unbreakable, serving as a beacon of hope and resilience in a world ravaged by greed and violence. Language Barrier and Communication At the heart of the language barrier in Dances with Wolves lies the fundamental challenge of communication between Lieutenant John J. Dunbar, a Union Army officer, and the Lakota Sioux tribe with whom he forms a deep and transformative bond. As Dunbar navigates the unfamiliar terrain of the frontier and encounters the indigenous inhabitants of the land, he quickly realizes that verbal language alone is insufficient to bridge the gap between his world and theirs. But what is it about the language barrier that poses such a significant obstacle to understanding? And how do characters like Dunbar and the Sioux navigate this challenge to form meaningful connections? One of the most intriguing aspects of language in Dances with Wolves is its role in shaping the dynamics of power and privilege between Dunbar and the Lakota Sioux. As a white man entering into a world dominated by indigenous peoples, Dunbar is initially viewed with suspicion and mistrust by the Sioux, who communicate with him primarily through gestures, expressions, and actions rather than words. Yet, as Dunbar gradually learns the Lakota language and begins to communicate more effectively with members of the tribe, he gains a deeper understanding of their culture and way of life. Stands with a fist, a white woman raised by the Sioux after her family was killed by Pawnee raiders, serves as a pivotal character in Dances with Wolves, who embodies the complexities of language, identity, and belonging. As Dunbar's primary interpreter and guide to the Sioux way of life, Stands with a Fist occupies a unique position within the tribe, straddling the worlds of her birth and adopted cultures. Throughout Dances with Wolves, language serves as a conduit for understanding, empathy, and connection between characters from disparate backgrounds and experiences. 
whether spoken in the form of English, Lakota, or the silent language of gestures and expressions, communication plays a vital role in shaping the relationships and interactions that unfold on the vast canvas of the American frontier. Critical Reception and Awards As the curtains rose on the cinematic landscape of 1990, Few films captured the hearts and minds of audiences worldwide quite like Dances with Wolves. But what was it about this epic tale of love, friendship, and cultural discovery that resonated so deeply with critics and audiences alike, and how did its critical reception and awards acclaim solidify its place in cinematic history? At the pinnacle of recognition in the film industry lies the prestigious Academy Awards, where Dances with Wolves secured its place among the pantheon of cinematic greats. Garnering a total of 12 nominations at the 63rd Academy Awards ceremony, the film emerged victorious in seven categories, including Best Picture, Best Director for Kevin Costner, and Best Adapted Screenplay for Michael Blake. But beyond its success at the Academy Awards, Dances with Wolves also received widespread acclaim from critics and audiences alike, earning praise for its sweeping vistas, authentic portrayal of Native American culture, and powerful performances from its cast. Critics hailed the film as a triumph of cinematic storytelling, praising its epic scope, emotional depth, and poignant exploration of themes such as identity, belonging, and cultural understanding. The film's overwhelming praise from critics and audiences alike was a testament to its universal appeal and timeless storytelling, solidifying its status as a beloved classic of American cinema. In addition to its critical acclaim and awards success, Dances with Wolves also left an unforgettable mark on popular culture, inspiring countless imitations, parodies, and homages in the years that followed. From its iconic soundtrack by John Barry to its unforgettable performances by Kevin Costner and Mary McDonnell, the film continues to captivate audiences with its timeless tale of love, friendship, and cultural discovery, cultural impact, and legacy. In the vast expanse of cinematic history, few films have left as significant a mark on the Western genre as Dances with Wolves. But what was it about this epic tale of one man's journey into the heart of the American frontier that resonated so deeply with audiences and critics alike? And how did its cultural impact and enduring legacy shape the landscape of Western cinema for years to come? When Dances with Wolves galloped onto the silver screen in 1990, it defied the conventions of traditional Western storytelling offering audiences a fresh and compelling perspective on the American frontier. Gone were the simplistic portrayals of cowboys and Indians, replaced instead by a nuanced exploration of the complex relationships between settlers and Native Americans. But what was it about Dances with Wolves that set it apart from other Westerns of its time, and how did its bold reimagining of the genre influence the films that followed? For Dances with Wolves, its cultural impact extended far beyond the confines of the Western genre, inspiring a new generation of filmmakers to explore themes of identity, belonging, and cultural understanding in their own work. One of the most enduring legacies of Dances with Wolves is its preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress, a testament to its cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance. This serves as a fitting tribute to its status as a beloved classic of American cinema, ensuring that future audiences would have the opportunity to experience its timeless tale of love, friendship, and cultural discovery. But beyond its cultural impact and legacy, Dances with Wolves also left a mark on the hearts and minds of audiences around the world, inspiring countless imitations, parodies, and homages in the years that followed. From its breathtaking cinematography to its powerful performances and iconic soundtrack, the film continues to captivate viewers with its timeless tale of one man's journey to find his place in the world. Controversies and Criticisms 
At the heart of the controversy surrounding Dances with Wolves is the question of historical accuracy and its portrayal of Native American cultures. For some critics, the film's depiction of the Lakota Sioux and other indigenous peoples is seen as romanticized and overly idealized, painting a sanitized portrait of life on the American frontier. The film's portrayal of Native American cultures was both a source of praise and criticism, with some applauding its efforts to humanize indigenous characters, while others lamented its failure to accurately represent their experiences. Another point of contention surrounding Dances with Wolves is its adherence to the white savior narrative, a trope in which a white protagonist assumes a heroic role in saving or civilizing indigenous peoples. For critics, the character of Lieutenant John J. Dunbar embodies this problematic archetype, with his actions portrayed as catalysts for positive change within the Lakota Sioux community. The inclusion of the white savior narrative sparked debates over its underlying themes of cultural imperialism and colonialism, challenging audiences to reconsider their perceptions of heroism and cultural exchange. In addition to these broader criticisms, Dances with Wolves also faced scrutiny from Native American communities themselves, who raised concerns over its representation of their cultures and traditions. For some indigenous viewers, the film's portrayal of Native American characters and customs perpetuated harmful stereotypes and misconceptions, reinforcing long-standing narratives of savagery and primitivism. The response from indigenous audiences was a sobering reminder of the importance of cultural sensitivity and authenticity in cinematic storytelling, prompting filmmakers to engage in dialogue and collaboration with Native American consultants and advisors. Thanks for watching another episode. Click the next video on your screen for more.